every year I have this dream of being self-sufficient and growing all my own food and I've had this dream for about 10 years or more now and um, I did an organic gardening course and I got a polytunnel, gosh, way, way back over 10 years ago and every year I give it a go and every year I fail. Um, and last year was no exception. Last year was a with bells on failure. I uh, had an awful lot of uh, life changes. Life uh, keeps getting in my way. I have had sort of various different um, degrees of success over the years. Uh, but last year was, was a really big failure. I started off the year really well, really positive, did masses of work. And then come the summer, I had a lot of things going on at home, even more than usual, a lot of life changes. And it just completely failed. Um, I haven't actually been in the polytunnel, well, for about five months. I just had to leave it all, just left it all go and fend for itself and disaster. Um, so I now it's um, the end of January, here we are, January I think it's the 30th today, 2017 and again this year I've decided well I must give it another go. It, that little voice in my head says don't give up, you know this could be the year so I'm going to give it another go and a lot of things have changed in my life and my circumstances so fingers crossed that everything works out well. I have actually got some more time to play with this year and hopefully to dedicate it to growing my own fruits and my own vegetables because I love to grow them, I love to eat them and I just love everything about them. Um, so I'm now about to go in my polytunnel for the first time in, a, say, about five months. And so I think it's probably going to be a bit of a mess, but um, we'll go and say hello that we're back. Okay. Okay. So we will unlock the door here now. And do it with one hand. And oh, well, it has an absolutely gorgeous smell. It's looking a bit um, upset in here, everything. Um, but the smell is fantastic. There's this real sort of earthy, that earthy smell that I love so much. I, I love my polytunnel. I come out and I used to come out and hide in here sometimes when I needed a bit of peace and quiet. I say I haven't been in here for a while. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a bit overgrown so I don't think I can even walk down the middle. Um, obviously a lot of things are going to seed here. Um, a lot of things uh, dead and wilted. I did an awful lot of work in the last spring here. Um, I did have a good crop of new potatoes out of here. Um, I must say that was one of the successes last year but uh, so got, it's not a ghost up there, that, that is my fleece. I did have a good crop of onions but with all the happenings last year most of them there they are, they're just left in a pile there because so I put them out to um, dry out and then that's where they stayed. So I think going to take quite a bit of work. I'm going to have to walk on the raised bed here. So, um, that was my, oh gosh, I've got, a, I've got a red cabbage in there still. Very strange looking little red cabbage in there with my netting. It's all left, bless it. And my greenhouses are pretty much the same. I had a fantastic crop of tomatoes in the greenhouse and that was about it. Everything else just had to fend for itself. Oh dear, I've got some snails. The snails have always had a wonderful time in here. Um, I think there's a squ small squash down there. A little yellow squash in the corner there. Um, yes. But as you can see, it's in a bit of a state. Uh, I don't know what was in that tub, I can't even think what I planted in here. Spring onions. Well, there's no spring about those, is there? But so I did have a good crop earlier on of new potatoes in these beds. That was, that was the success in here and then life got in the way, as it does. 
but we are back and we are going to start again and see if we can uh, turn it around. I've got some curtains here it's to go over my doors because um, there is some gaps around the doors. We haven't had a very hard winter this winter but when we do um, it helps give extra warmth in here. I put, put it over the doors if I've got young plants in here because we can get frosts right up until May. So there we are. So I think I'm going to have my work cut out to say the least. So I'm not daunted, I'm quite excited. Um, you can never knock me for enthusiasm. So this year might be my year, it might not, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. I've got the old gardening gloves in my pocket and I'm gonna make a start with uh, ripping out all the weeds and putting them in the compost and uh, trying to tidy it up in here, ready for the new season. So let's hope this year we have a fantastic growing year and uh, some decent weather, a bit of sunshine and lots more time to actually spend growing my own food. My children keep telling me I'm supposed to say at the end of these videos that you're supposed to give them a thumbs up and like and subscribe if you want to see how I get on this year in the garden and I'm hoping to have a good year and I hope you do too so um, hopefully we'll get nice green fingers together so don't forget to give me a nice green thumbs up.